Okay, so here is a quick look at the latest lens I've got hold of for my GH4, uh, 7.5mm Samyang fisheye lens, um, f3.5, so not awesome in low light, but it's pretty sharp and pretty well built, manual aperture and manual focus only. Um, yeah, it's pretty solid. Um, it's um, As you can see, you've got a built-in cowl there, which um, the, the lens cap has to sort of click over the top. So that's pretty convenient and pretty easy. So let's have a look at example here. So this is a 12 megapixel snap photo. So that gives you an idea of the full width of the shot, the full um, viewing angle. Um, as you can see, if you look around the sort of the window and the couch there, in you know, the bottom of the tripod, you are getting a, quite a bit of distortion at full frame. If you come into 100% here, and then let's go into 200%, get an idea of the sharpness um, you're getting, which isn't too bad at all, I don't think. So let's have a look at what that looks like in 4K. So I do most of my shooting in 4K, as most probably people do, I would imagine, in the GH4. That gives you an idea. You do lose a lot of that distortion as soon as you get it into that 4K mode. Um, that's cropped in again here, so that's what it would look at at 1080 1 to 1 uh, in the 4K mode, if that makes sense. As soon as you start moving the camera around, you do get that kind of fisheye, kind of GoPro sort of feel, which isn't always necessarily a bad thing, depending on what you want to do with it. The, the near focus range, as you can see, I'm just focusing on Georgia there as she's sleeping. Um, is pretty pretty close. I think it's like you know like five centimeters or something like that. So you really can get very close. I think yeah. I just bring it down onto her sleeve now, and you can see the if I move to the left. Yeah, see the kind of details in the fiber there. It, you really can get very close, and it, and it still focuses quite happily. And then you pull back, and it's very easy to focus because it's a wide angle lens. You literally just stick it to infinity, and most stuff is going to be in focus. So it gives you an idea what it's like in movement. Um, so let's compare that to some of the other lenses that I've got. Uh, so the moment uh, before this, uh, the widest lens I had was the 12mm. So there's the fisheye, and here's the 12mm Olympus, which is my previously widest lens. So you can see it's quite a big difference. All of these are in the 4K mode, by the way, so you've got the crop factor there. Let's have a look at it compared to the kit lens. So this is the Panasonic 14mm lens at 14mm, so it's widest. A bit of a f-stop drop there. Um, and then we'll zoom into the, <clears throat> the 440, so that's the as tight as that lens will go, the um, the kit lens, 140. And then bring that back out to the, the fisheye again, and let's compare that to the Noctichron, always struggle with that word, which is my sexy expensive lens, um, that gives you an idea of the, the difference in, in viewing angle there. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do is compare it to the GoPro 3 Black. Um, and we're doing a job at the moment that involves quite a few cameras and the GoPro is getting in the mix there so it'd be interesting to see how comparable it is this the GH4 with this lens so here's the fisheye um, on the GH4 and then this is the Hero 3 black on wide in 1080 mode and then back to the fisheye and then back to the, the GoPro as you can see it's even with this fisheye it's not quite as wide as the GoPro the GoPro is ridiculously wide um, this is with the 4K crop factor, remember, so it will be a bit different without that. And here we have the, the GoPro and the GH4 uh, cropped in, basically, so it's 200% on the GoPro and 100% on the 4K GH4 footage. So you get the same crop, basically, as these lenses are sort of comparable. It's interesting looking them side by side just to see the quality difference between the Hero 3 Black and the GH4. Um, so that was a very quick look at my latest lens acquisition for the GH4. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I think it's good price point, 160, 170 pounds, and it's the widest lens you're going to get. It goes straight on the micro four thirds, and it will definitely get a fair amount of use for when my 12 millimeter just isn't wide enough. Um, you know, there is distortion. It is a fisheye lens, but as long as you use it, you know, within those kind of parameters, like maybe if there's a person in shot, they they stay in center of shot. Uh, then I think that will be fine as soon as you get kind of like faces up close or the camera panning past a person so their body sort of bends and morphs to the fisheye then that's not so not so nice so as long as you use it within you know within its its constraints I think it's going to be a very useful little lens so anyway thanks guys I hope that was useful goodbye